today we are going to try the newest from Kilter. It's a uh, one-off little small batch, 100 beers kind of a thing. It's the uh, Ferrari prototype limited release. It's a uh, chocolate hazelnut imperial mousse stout. So let's see what that's all about. Greatest sound in the world, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, pretty dark, which is kind of what you would expect from an imperial stout, really, so no surprise there. Uh, so they say no thought went into label design, but I, I kind of like the uh, Hot Wheels label design. My, uh, my personal knowledge of cars stops and starts with Hot Wheels, so there you go. Um, okay, so I think uh, I'm just going to go back to what it says on our site here. While this isn't a ridiculously nutty one, letting the stout warm up in your glass a little will unlock some of the deliciously soft, nutty vibes. Uh, so we're going to try that. In just a minute, we're going to let it warm up. Let's just let it warm up. Let's uh, put it there. Shouldn't take that long. Yeah. Uh, so what's uh, the deal with this beer is Kilter has been doing a number of these uh, limited edition stouts for the last couple of months. They've they've done uh, the last one I think was a Fudgio. They've done some chocolate ones. There was uh, a few different ones over, over over the last little while. And these of course they're imperial stouts, so uh, they pack a lot of alcohol. This is a, a good whopping 11% alcohol. So uh, yeah, here we go. That's a good thing they come in these smaller cans and not the not the tall boys that most of their stuff comes in. Um, and so yeah, when they release these, uh, it's 300 cans total in in their their batch. So you're only allowed to buy one, and they sell out like that. Uh, so I haven't tried all of these, but the the ones I've tried, I've liked. Uh, you know, I mean they're they're very uh, intense and sweet, and they're not the kind of thing you would drink all the time. But when you can only get one anyway, it, it it's just this uh, yeah, it's kind of a fun little thing to try out. Um, and because you know. It, um, if you're ordering the one, in order to make it worth your while, you end up ordering some other stuff. So along with this, I got some Always Sunnies, a really nice uh, uh, coffee stout that they do, and uh, Juchi, their latest uh, variation on uh, Juicy, um, uh, uh, their flagship beer. Yeah, oh, you definitely get the hazelnut. Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a very nutty smell. Uh, let's, let's give this a little taste. Oh, that is sweet. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. That is like a big glass of candy. Um, they, so the image that they put out uh, when they put this on their website uh, is um, the can sitting next to some Ferrero Rochers. Um, hell, it was just Christmas a few weeks ago. I just happened to have some Ferrero Rochers kicking around. Let's do a little side by side. A staple of the Christmas season, the Ferrero Rochers. Uh, oh yeah, opening these is always a lot of fun. So let's just watch me do that because that's entertaining. I'm doing this for you because you won't be able to. I mean, if you didn't get one of those 300 cans that uh, were put out uh, in early January, you're not gonna try this beer. Unless of course, you know, uh, it proves to be like super popular. Like people uh, are begging for them to do it again. Um, you know, maybe they will. So anyway, let's let's try the uh, classic Ferrero Rocher. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. just realized I'm eating candy on camera and trying to sell this off as entertainment. Fuck, I love those. All right. Let's see how, Ferrari, see how Ferrari does after that. <laughs> I mean, it is a continuation of the same thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's really chocolatey. Like, it's, um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I know some people aren't crazy about chocolate so it's, I, I like I like them. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm not really a beer expert uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I like what I like. Uh, I, I'm really into IPAs. Hazy IPAs are really nice. Stouts, I really enjoy. Ales, uh, I mean, you can't beat a good Pilsner or a Lager sometimes, too. And those get lost 
in the beer conversation a lot of the time. Yeah, if you want to have a Ferrero Rocher, but, you know, I don't know, biting and chewing are too hard for you, this is an option. So Kilter Brewing is, is kind of like the... I think it's the newest brewery that we have in Winnipeg. Winnipeg didn't have much of a beer scene uh, as recent as about, I'd say, five years ago. And then there was like a real explosion in the last few years. Uh, we had two breweries in town. They weren't allowed to have tap rooms because of our draconian liquor laws, but that's all changed. It's a really neat little place. When, when it first opened, now the area it's in is kind of like a residential slash industrial. Like, I mean, it's at the end of the residential street very close to an industrial area of town. Um, and when it first opened for um, uh, curbside pickups, um, you'd show up and there would just be a spray painted sign <laughs> welcoming you. Uh, it felt very, uh, it was like the, the brewery at the end of the world. It, it felt, um, yeah, very post-apocalyptic. Uh, they, they opened up their tap room kind of summer um, 2020. Uh, and at that point here in Winnipeg, the, the COVID situation was, was not too bad. It was a single digit cases daily. So a lot of restaurants, bars were still open and stuff. So uh, they opened amidst that. And, and it's a beautiful tap room. Uh, I still haven't like hung out there. I, I've only ever really gone in just to do my pickups. Um, because I've been pretty much hunkering down here in the basement for the last uh, 10 months now. God, 10 months. Now, for the sake of science, I can't just have one beer right now. I should probably try another one from Kilter, just to give you a, a sense of more of their stuff. The smarter thing to do would be to maybe go to something like the Juchi, or Juicy. I think it's Juchi. Uh, I'm going to call it Juchi just to differentiate from the original Juicy. Um because it's a radically different beer than the uh, Ferrari. I just, you know, I just had a really thick, rich Imperial Stout. Going to something fruity, um, it just doesn't, I, I don't think that'll, that'll work right now. So Juchi is just gonna go back here for now. Uh, we are, however, gonna try uh, Ja, ja, ja. It's the ja, 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 the uh, Mexican stout. Again, you got to see the pour, right? It's, uh, you can already see a little more of like a head forming on this with than the, uh, than we had, like not much of one, but a little bit uh, compared to um, the Imperial stout, the Ferrari that we just tried. That is so different from the Ferrari. Uh, yes, there is uh, chocolate in, in both. Uh, they're both stouts, but but wow, you can't get much more different. Um, and, and maybe it is the, the switching from one to the other. I mean, we all know uh, if you're really trying to like discern flavors and stuff, you should be like cleansing your palate in between and whatnot. But uh, obviously, wasn't doing that. After that intensely chocolate, uh, nutty, really well balanced Imperial Stout. I actually really enjoyed the Ferrari. Uh, of all the small batch Imperial Stouts they have done, Kilter, over the last few months, that might be my favorite. Um, it's just, yeah, it's a really nicely balanced taste. So going to the Ja 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 right after that, um, this is traditionally one of my favorites of theirs. Um, and yeah, now, now that the intensity of the Ferrari is gone, I'm starting to get more of what I'm used to here, but the general experience with this beer has always been like, you, you get that little bit of chocolate in that first sip, and then it goes down and you get a little tiny bit of a burn in your throat, a little something in the back of the mouth, you know, the first couple sips I had uh, of this beer, following that one, were 
like predominant on the spice. Like it was all I could taste was the spice. And now I've had a couple of sips and it's easing back into what I know this beer to be. But immediately after uh, the Ferrari, it was like, yeah, there's a huge difference. Uh, who knows what I would have tasted if I would have gone with that uh, luxurious IPA, but uh, we'll never know. Stay safe, drink up. Oh, no, no.